Hello everyone, welcome back once again. This is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at globals and super globals, okay? So basically, let's start with globals first. So if you remember, um, we kept creating variables in PHP. So um, let's say we create some variable, let's say um, random number equal to four. And um, we have some function here to say um, echo random stuff okay so in here we can just say echo some string so let's call this function by copying its uh, name here pasting it okay so back in our browser I'll refresh we should see that string some string there okay all right so basically if you remember last time I said that you can access um, stuff outside the function scope by using either um, the global keyword or if it's in the case of an anonymous function you have to use the use keyword here okay but the global um, in PHP which is dollar sign underscore um, or dollar sign global as here it has everything every variable that is accessible in a global scope and what do I mean by that so let's say um, we want to access this random number here so this globals here is an array which has access to everything in your script that is not inside a function so this number here is just exposed randomly outside the um, function and is not enclosed in anything so we can just say um, random number here access it as a key so we can say echo that and we should have access to that so back in our browser when I refresh we can have the number four as you can see so this applies to everything you have defined outside of a function. So in this case, the random number is a global. Okay. So that brings us to the end of globals. So what are super globals? So super globals are um, actually globals, but they are the ones that um, are defined by PHP. What do I mean by that is that if you notice what's inside the globals is just any of the variables um, like random number that you have defined yourself. But with super globals, these ones already exist. Um, within the PHP runtime and they are uh, I'll just list them out first one is server uh, we're not gonna go in depth in that in this video but server just has information about your um, your machine so I'll just say print underscore R server um, let's just um, comment all of these out so print our server go back in our browser refresh as you can see um, server has all these information here like the HTTP host and keep alive and um, the headers and everything okay so that's what's inside server so we'll comment that out so the next super global is um, get so dollar underscore get which we'll also do in its own video uh, but for now let's just print out and see what's in it so I'll go within the browser and I'll refresh as you can see the get has nothing in it but the get will have something if I did um, like this for example um, some param equal to three and I press enter now the get has that some param so this is what defines the get whatever you pass in your URL okay but in this video we're not gonna go in depth in that so next is the post okay so post if you have been using forms before you know that post is filled when um, you have submitted a form using the post verb PHP verb okay so let's refresh and see what's in the post as you can see it's also empty but if we had created a form and submitted it, the post will have the values in the form. So the next um, super global is files. So that's also um, called dollar underscore files. And as obviously as of now, it will have nothing in it because we have not submitted any files from a form. Okay. So there are three other um, super globals or actually um, four, but um, only one of them is mostly used. So the um, fifth one is dollar underscore session, and um, session is only created when you've called a session start function, which we'll deal with in other series when we're dealing with login and um, registration and stuff like that. So when I refresh, um, it says that session does not exist because um, I have not called session start. So let me just say session start, and then um, sorry about that. When I refresh now, we should see that this error is gone, but there's nothing in the session, as you can see, okay? But uh, we're not going to go in depth into that, so we'll just delete that, okay? So the other um, three super globals are request, 
so dollar underscore request and I'll refresh the browser and as you can see um, there's nothing in the request um, variable super global sorry okay so we'll comment that out and the last two are the cookie and the environment super globals so this is cookie so when I refresh the browser uh, we shouldn't expect much in the cookie so the cookie just stores some um, session IDs um, and cookie related stuff in your um, server okay so the last but not the least is um, the environment um, variable so that is env as you can see it's not spelled fully as environment and then um, when we refresh that um, there's nothing inside of that okay so i did not go too in depth into um, environment and the cookie variable because those are not used that much in your application world but um the most that you have to be familiar with is server get post files and session okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video and as usual if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching i will see you soon